Hello and welcome to another reading vlog. So I don't know about you, but this month has flown by for me. Uh, it, I can't believe it's almost Thanksgiving because uh, I'm filming this the Saturday before Thanksgiving. I already like cut down the number of books on my TV year because I wanted to like leave time for other things. And um, the other things being like writing, I haven't done a lick of writing, but World Hoppers has taken up a very large, very joyous amount of my time. So like, I don't regret it, but also like, I was like, where did my whole month go? I've hardly read a thing. But yeah, so like I realized like yesterday that the live show for me and Amanda's buddy read is next Saturday. I have a week left to read The Name of the Wind. <laughs> oh. Luckily it's a reread also. I started rereading re this earlier this year. So like uh, I read like 20% of it then. So like I have a bit of a leg up. I was like, oh fuck, I have to read that in a week. And like the week that is left between now and then is Thanksgiving week. So it's good. I mean, I'm not doing a whole lot for Thanksgiving, but still like it's... Anyway, so today I'm al I always read more when I vlog, even though vlogging takes time away from reading in the times that I'm editing it after. Well, whatever. But <laughs> I decided to vlog today so that I could motivate myself. Not that I need motivation for Name of the Wind, but anyway. I'm vlogging today and I'm reading Name of the Wind. I finished Name of the Wind today, which is unlikely. Um, I'll continue reading Royal Assassin probably because I, I haven't read that since the last time I vlogged. And then I am currently listening to The Devil in the Dark Water by Stuart Turton. That's my audiobook. And I don't have too much left on it. Um, so like I was listening to it again this morning while I was like washing dishes and stuff. Um, and I've been listening to it every day pretty much like that while I do stuff around the house, wash dishes, put clothes away. Sometimes I just sit on the couch and listen for a bit. Alrighty. Oh, and of course I'm wearing my Waystone Inn uh, sweater because reasons. If you know, you know. Breakfast was delicious, but my neighbor is once again making a fucking racket. I do not understand what they are doing. I think the only reasonable guess I have is that they are building furniture while wearing clogs. That's the only thing I could imagine that could make this amount of noise. But anyway, <laughs> I actually complained to my property managers and supposedly they talked to my neighbor. And my neighbor clearly does not give a shit. <sighs> anyway, so I'm gonna pop on my old noise canceling headphones. Put on some loot filled music. Oh, it's so weird. I feel like I'm yelling <laughs> while I read Name of the Wind and Light. I have so many Name of the Wind candles. I know you're shocked. Okay, I can't do this. This is too weird. I really <laughs> can't tell how loud I am. This is my absolute favorite Name of the Wind candle that I have. Um, I have a buttfuck of candles for Name of the Wind. Every time basically any shop makes a Name of the Wind candle, I'm like, purchase. But this is my favorite scent. So like a lot of the labels I think are, this is a nice label, it's not, like it's, it's fine. But it's not like an amazing label. I have some with amazing labels, but the scent, this scent is my favorite. And I think she discontinued this candle and it's from Spain. Like this, if you look for this shop, Book and Glow, you can get all the labels in English or in Spanish, but they like ship from Spain. So this cost me an arm and a leg. It smells really good. Um, So I never want to burn it. Cause like, I'm like, I'll never get it again. But that's silly because like candles don't last forever. It still smells amazing. So I keep sniffing it. Ah, it smells so good. What is it supposed to smell like? Spiced wine? I don't really think it smells like spiced wine. It does a bit. But it has a kind of an almondy smell. It's like spiced, like mulled spiced something, but also almond. You know, like um, like uh, a bear claw or like, um, what's that stuff called? The liquor? <laughs> So the almond liquor? Shit, what's that called? It's gonna bug me. I used to use it all the time for cooking. Like literally all the time because it made everything taste yummy. <laughs> I'm a red o. Yes, okay. So this candle smells like mulled, spiced, like stone fruits and cinnamon, but also amaretto. It's it's amazing. It smells so good. I think actually I think what happened, I think she changed the label. 
I think it's no longer the Waystone Inn. I think it's now Quoth. And instead of this like nice like woodsy kind of border, this is a lot of time to be talking about a candle, but I fucking love this candle. I think the border is now like music notes, which like, yeah, Quoth plays music, but not that kind of music. Like, I don't think Quoth ever writes down musical notes. Like musical notes to me is more like, it would be like for the Kingdom of Back, like when you're talking about classical music. Quoth, like that's not how like a traveling musician like a lute player, a bard, like that's, you don't have, you know what I mean? Like it should be like a picture of a lute then. I like this label way better. Anyway, I recommend this candle, which I, you can kind of still get the scent anyway. Maybe I'll link it down below if I can find it. It seriously smells so good. I need to just light it instead of sniffing it. Okay, cool. Let's do that. <laughs> So where I picked up today, like where I left or where I left off last time I was reading it was um, right after Quoth um, is gone through admissions and uh, is like just after he's finished. So he's admitted now and now he's like getting his tuition settled, getting a bunk to sleep in, making friends, whatever. And just now I got through, I guess this is spoilery? Eh. Or he just got punished. <laughs> just got through that bit. Oh my god. I was just literally grinning while I was reading it. Uh, every time like it's been too long since I've read it, like I still like, I'm like, oh I love that book, but like the memory of why gets faded and I'm like, is it as good as I remember? Am I ho over hyping it like in my memory? And then I pick it up again and I'm like, yeah, no, it's fucking great. Uh, the writing just sucks you in. I can't even, every time, like when I first was reading it, I was like, 50 pages go by and like nothing happened, but it was the best nothing I've ever read. <laughs> and like even now, like I was like, what? so like technically what's going on? I'm like, oh, okay, so like he, he's getting his bearings at school. It's like basically orientation. <laughs> Can you think of a more boring thing to read about is university orientation? But it's, I'm just like grinning like a fool <laughs> while I'm reading it. <laughs> Cause like it's written so well in Quoth's character. Like I know people hate Quoth. I love Quoth. <laughs> Like, he's a shit. He's the smartest dumbass there is, and the dumbest smartass. He's just, every time he does something, you're like, don't, but, but why? <laughs> and yet, like, because he's such, like, a little bragger. He's such a little shit. But he can walk the walk, and you're like, there is a time to walk the walk, and it's almost never the time to walk the walk. You need to, like, shut up, grin, and bear it, but he is incapable of that. So I just, I feel like people who like the book are, feel the experience of Quoth's friends in the book because Quoth's friends in the book throughout are just like, man, I'm with you. That's frustrating. Man, I'm with you. I know what got, like, what inspired you to do this thing. But bro, like, did you need to? Like, you do know how much trouble you're in now, right? <laughs> like, all of us reading it are like, yeah, dude, we all love you, but why? <laughs> oh, oh, anyway. I need to make more coffee.
I think the most appropriate thing to eat on a day when I am reading the name of the wind is stew, which of course takes a bit, so uh, a bit of time, I should say. So I'm gonna go make some stew. <laughs> This is low-key my best day ever. Like, oh, the weather is cool enough to where like I can be in a snuggler sweater with my blanket and drinking mead in the middle of the day does not make me sweat. <laughs> also, I don't know why. I do know why. Um, I was putting off, I got like a sample case of meads from uh, Gronfell and Havoc Meadery because they combine their meads. This is, uh, <laughs> I meant to talk about Name of the Wind. This is a quick mead tangent. If you like mead, I recommend. Um, but like, I don't like sweets, which I think I've mentioned many times. And so of the flavors that it came with, this is like the last one that I hadn't tried yet because I was convinced it would be disgustingly sweet. And it's not. I mean, it is sweeter than the other ones, but it tastes really yummy. I honestly think it might be if not my favorite, one of my favorite flavors. So highly recommend the old Wayfarer. Um, I did order their special edition because they ran out of it and then they did a second like second wave that you could pre-order. I haven't had it. I mean it hasn't arrived yet but they have for the season. I think it's still available so I'll link it down below. The Wild Hunt. Um, they It's like a special edition mead that they're only doing for like the holiday season. It's uh, cranberry orange flavored with a really cool uh, can and I don't think I've ever done this before. As we all know, I'm running out of tankards. <laughs> They're doing a wild hunt tankard, so I ordered both. I'm really excited for that. Anyway, um, yeah. The music, that was the perfect lunch, the mead, my candle, and the name of the wind. This is low-key the greatest day of my life. Ugh, the writing is so, 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 so good. I love it so much, and my heart hurts for Quoth already, because, like, I know when he's gonna fuck up. <laughs> you, the first time you read it, you're like, I think this is not gonna go well. The second time you read it, you're like, I know this is not gonna go well. <laughs> oh, but it's so good. It's so good. Anyway, um, where am I at? He just uh, borrowed a bunch of money that he can't afford to borrow, but he got a loot. So he's all set. Um, and his friends are making fun of him <laughs> for lady he's spending all of his time with except it's just his loot because <sighs> he's a nerd <laughs> yeah but we're about to get into the den a bit we're about to get to alan's favorite part <laughs> you don't know what i'm talking about one of my fellow world hoppers alan from the library of alexandria 
went on a bit of a rant during one of our World Hopper videos because he hates Denna. Like, a lot. <laughs> so I'm about to get to Alan's favorite part. <laughs> and I will think of Alan the whole time I'm reading about Denna. <laughs> this book is so, 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 so good. Be close. I don't want anyone to hurt Growth. Even though it's totally his fault that people hurt him. He's so dumb. <laughs> oh, I just, and Patrick Rothfuss' writing style, it's magic. Most, like, mundane stuff. I'm just, wow. <laughs> I just sink into it the way that, like, I don't really sink into other, anyone else's writing. Literally nobody else's writing do I just sink into. I'm, like, glowing from, like, just the right amount of, like, alcohol from the meat. It's like 6%. So I'm just like, I'm just feeling good. <laughs> I'm just feeling real good. So I shall carry on reading and feeling great and I'll check in later for more feeling good. I have not planned it this way but I have some pretty excellent timing on these vlogs because I just got some packages to unbox for you just like I did last time. I'm pretty sure this is a Funko that I pre-ordered. And this I know is coffee and mugs from Bones Coffee. Because I'm totally running out of coffee and totally running out of mugs. Neither is true. Pretty sure this is Peter Pan. Yeah. <laughs> it's Peter Pan. Look at all aggressive. Look at his little aggressive face. Uh, if you're not aware, I'm obsessed with Peter Pan. Oh, all fucking day. I'm gonna kill my neighbor one of these days. You're gonna see it in the news and you'll be like, I know why this happened. You don't know this. I hate packing larva. Or what is it actually called? Packing popcorn? Oh, I like popcorn. How dare they? This is larva. So like <laughs> Lee um, from Creatively Crafts, the uh, bookish mugs that I rep for. Um, she like especially, like I think she normally uses this stuff uh, in her other packages to other people, but she knows I hate it. So she'll ne she won't package my m mugs and stuff with packing larva. I appreciate it deeply, but I forget when I get packages from other people that they they use packing larva. So we've got caramel apple, and I think I just got the one coffee because I had just bought a bunch of coffee when they um, announced these mugs, so I didn't really need a lot of coffee. Uh, these are their Christmas mugs, and I had just bought their Christmas coffee, like in my last order, so I really didn't need any more. Two mugs. Gingerbread man! I don't really like this coffee that much. Like, I got their Christmas sample pack, so I have like a little packet of each of the Christmas flavors. My favorite Christmas flavor from Bones, they discontinued this year. I was like, what the fuck? My favorite was the Candyland, Winter in Candyland. Something about Candyland. It was the cutest label. And it was the best coffee. And they don't have it anymore. They have all the other shitty Christmas flavors. Which of course I still bought. Where's their Christmas tea, but oh fudge. Now I can finally, I got the eggnog one before. Now I can finally drink my Christmas coffee. Oh, I am tired. <laughs> I was feeling antsy. Wait, my TV's making noise. Uh, I was feeling antsy. And so I decided I'd do the dishes from earlier and like a bit of reorganization of my kitchen which turned into reorganizing all my kitchen cabinets and doing all the dishes from making stew and breakfast. So <laughs> I just finished, I have been at it for like three hours. <laughs> Still a little antsy, but like, I'm, yeah, it's almost 9.30. <laughs> like it feels really good to have like purged and sorted everything in my kitchen. I feel like I can breathe again. So I'm really pleased, but it took like forever. <sighs> but it'll feel so nice tomorrow morning when I wake up and I go into my kitchen and it's just like all organized. Originally I was only gonna vlog today. I'm gonna vlog tomorrow morning and afternoon too to make up for tonight, I guess. <laughs> if I could get my ass out of bed early enough, I would like to go to the lake first thing in the morning and then read Name of the Wind. Alternatively, wake up early, 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 read some of Name of the Wind, and then go to the lake. But we'll discover together what I do. <laughs> of course, tomorrow morning at breakfast, I have to use my new Christmas mugs, possibly drink one of my Christmas coffees, although TBQH. Right now, I'm feeling very limbo. Like, I'm very into prepping for Christmas. Oh my god, also, if you have watched my channel for a while, then you're probably aware of my obsession 
with the Wonder Bones coffee from Bones. I'm obviously obsessed with Bones coffee, just generally. But the Wonder Bones flavor, which is a seasonal flavor. So I stocked up last year and I thought I had drunk all of what I had stocked up on and I bought more this year. While I was reorganizing my kitchen, I, I stumbled upon a box that was entirely full of Bones. Wonder Bones coffee. <laughs> I have so much Wonder Bones coffee. Like I'm not upset because I love it, but it, it it's a little insane. <laughs> um, because like I've stocked up on see, like fall seasonal flavors because those also go away. So like I have a bunch of the pumpkin spice. I have so, I just got some more of the caramel apple. I have like on deck a few of my favorite flavors that I just like to have on hand because those are my go-to flavors. Like um, like French vanilla and maple bacon and high voltage which is just not flavored so like the my like staple flavors a bunch of seasonal flavors and then like an entire shelf in my cabinet now is just just wonder Bones. <laughs> it's i don't think i will need to buy coffee again for many moons <laughs> it's a lot <sighs> anyway so that's my update for you grenade of the wind is a great book i got to I'm past halfway. I got to Quoth getting his talent pipes and seeing Denna again. And that's like literally where I just ended. He doesn't, he hasn't even like gotten talking with Denna. Like he was like, you know, when he's like stumbling around the Aeoli and being like, oh, I guess I'll never find out who she was, that girl who sang with me. And then like the chapter ends with it being like, Denna. <sighs> it's Alan's favorite part, I know. I'm still feeling like tired. Like I don't want to do any more organizing, but you know, like buzzing from like doing all stuff. Like I can't sit still yet or like I can't like sit down and read a book. So I might make a cup of tea and listen to, what did I do with it? Oh, it's under the dust jacket. The Devil in the Dark Water by Stuart Hurt. Really like all over the place. I'm a complete mess right now, which is, goes without saying. Anyway, oh! Sorry, my brain went on a tangent and you weren't going with me on it, so you won't, I have to explain it now. This whole time I kept thinking that in my brain these two went together. <laughs> my plague doctor and the devil in the dark water. But I kept being like, but why though? Like, they don't really go together at all. And I was, but and every time I would look at like the book on the couch next to my plague doctor, I was like, oh yeah, and those like go together. But I was like, why do I keep thinking they go together? They don't at all. Other than like that they're kind of macabre, but like, why does my brain keep going, those are connected? <laughs> like every single time my brain was like, that's a pair, they go together, that's, they, they match. They're like, and I just now figured out why, while I was trying to explain to you what my plan for the evening is. Like I just, aha -ed. It's because the first book, not this one, the first book he wrote, The Seven Deaths of Evil in Hardcastle, there is, um, like a figure that frequently appears in a plague doctor mask in that book. And my brain is just connecting Stuart Turton with the plague doctor. It's funny how brains work. Squash Plagueis and I will, well, he can't listen to it because it's gonna be headphones. So he'll just be next to me while I listen to The Devil in the Dark Water, which I'll be honest, I'm a little underwhelmed with. One last thing, I'm gonna take my hair out and I'm kind of dying to know what it's gonna look like after it's been in braids all day. I haven't had my hair in braids in years. I think I'm gonna look like Hermione Granger. I might delete this footage if it looks too atrocious. But let's see. <laughs> oh dear. Oh boy. That is quite crimped, isn't it? It's not as bad as I thought. It could be a lot worse. It's been a lot worse. If I if I had braided it when it was wet, it would be worse. It's actually not too bad. I'm low-key sad that I'm going to bed now because it kind of looks fine. Time for that cup of tea that I said I was gonna have. Good morning. No lake walk today because I woke up late. And believe it or not, I am actually like low-key sore from my kitchen reorganization so we're just gonna have coffee and read name of the wind 
I'm leaning. If I'm gonna have Christmas coffee, I kinda want pumpkin spice. I've been drinking pumpkin spice coffee like every single morning. And pumpkin spice seems more name of the wind appropriate, doesn't it? It's either that or drink eggnog coffee from my eggnog mug. But even though I've decorated my apartment for Christmas, I'm like, it will really be Christmas when I drink Christmas coffee. <laughs> These trees and gnomes, like, that's not Christmas. Bones coffee, that's Christmas. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna just have pumpkin spice. Right? That's what I've decided. Sounds like that's what I've decided. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna listen to... Where is it? The Devil in the Dark Water while I put away the dishes I left to dry last night and while I make coffee. And then I'll read them with the lint. And I'll check in with you for reading and coffee and breakfast and... Nope, that's it. Okay. Welp, I've made it to page 525 of Name of the Wind, obviously. So I have about 100 pages left, a little more. Yeah, oh, this book is so good, which we know. We know. I'm leaving off where Quoth has met up with Denna again after the wedding. If you know, you know. It's just such Patrick Rothfuss storytelling, you just get lost in it. I just, I didn't even notice how much time was passing. You just get lost in, in living, it feels like a living and breathing world. I think that's what the magic of it is. Because all these little details about it, they don't feel like like absurdly detailed info dumpy world building. They feel like just part of a lived in world. <laughs> so much fantasy, especially YA, not always, but a lot of it, it just, it glosses over so much of the day to day because unless you're Rothfuss, for the most part, day to day stuff is boring. People don't want to read about it. But the day-to-day -day problems that Quoth had, like just the fact of him trying to get to the um, Treban, that it wasn't just like, I heard this rumor and off I go to find out. Like he'd like to off I go to find out, but it's just, I mean, realistically, you can't. There's logistics. So like there's time devoted to him figuring out like how to get the money, to get a horse and to get food and to get there and then what to do with the horse once he gets there. And like... None of that feels like, ugh, why do we have all this detail? Like, just skip that. Let's get to the interesting part. Because Rothfuss manages to make every bit of it interesting. And you just feel like you're living in this world. And you're, like, living this life with Quoth. The good parts and the bad parts. <laughs> so, like, it's not an idealized life. Because, like, you really don't want to be living Quoth's life. Because it's pretty rough. But it is also still, like, a magical world to be in. And being Quoth vicariously is an experience. <laughs> it is quite amazing how much noise my headphones block because <laughs> I just took them off now to like wrap up with you fine folks and then realizing how much noise I've been not having to deal with from traffic and planes and my stupid neighbor. Yeah I think that does it for this reading vlog. Not quite done with Name of the Wind, but I read it before. You know where this is going. And of course, you'll see me talk about it during me and Amanda's live show. I'm anxious about that, because Name of the Wind. <laughs> Don't shit on my baby Quoth. Don't hurt him. He has suffered enough. Anyway, yep, that does it. I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, then ugh, I don't know why you're still watching. If you did, like and subscribe, maybe, if you wanna. I post videos on Saturdays, other random times as well, but definitely Saturdays. So I'll see you when I see you. Bye.